Uh, what's poppin' T subs and squad? So yeah, tonight's episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Let me cut her down. Um, tonight's episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta. I gotta say, while it didn't make me nut waterfalls, they did make me queeve a little bit. So you know, I guess that's a step into the right direction. I see now uh, we're about to spend a couple of weeks down to South Kakalaka. So I guess now I really hope what they're banking for is going to happen. Myself personally, I just don't really give a damn about the stripper gate no more. Maybe if I find out anything new or whatever the case may be, or maybe just watching it again will spark my interest. But I really hope that works out for y'all, Bravo. But as of right now, tonight's episode, it gave a little yang, yang, yang around the house. Um, so let's just jump right on up in this thing. My bad. I had to fix my light. So Cynthia, um, planning for the wedding. Y'all, I don't give a fuck about Cynthia, Mike, and this wedding. I do not care because we already know the outcome. They got married. We already know the 250 people came, um, and they bought COVID with them. Girl, we all know that anybody who was anybody was down to the COVID-Con wedding. Shout out to L. Teddy. We already know everybody who was everybody was down to COVID consent. We already know it. So at this point, I just don't really give a damn about it. Like she sent up there talk about, yeah, she sent out 250 invitations, but she ain't think as many people was going to, you know, come to it, you know, whatever the case may be. And I'm just like, I, I guess, um, then they talk about. You know, her wanting to invite her dad. We're going to get down to that at the end of this thing. But anything else dealing with that, girl, it's a no for me, doll. Moving on. Drew and Ralph um, are still packing to move. Um, they talk about his dad's passing and they were setting off balloons. I think that it's really sad that this man cannot grieve his father properly. Like, I think it's real fucked up and foul that um, it's, it's mainly in the black communities where we're somehow teaching our young black boys that men don't cry. They're not supposed to cry. They're not supposed to have feelings. And if anything bad happens or whatever the case may be, oh, well, just suck it up. Don't cry about it. Like, I think it's real foul that that boy can't grieve his father the way that he really wants to. Now, while I don't see it for Ralph and while I feel like Ralph is full of shit and Drew needs to definitely make sure that um, she watches her back when it comes to him. At the end of the day, I understand the plight of a child who lost their parent. And just considering the fact that I ain't got near one of mine, I, I cried like a baby. And I think it's fucked up that he can't have the right to do the same. But whatever, we're just going to move on so um candy cares is having a food drive um candy talks about rod and the whole child support situation and then the stylist came out and said that girl the judge finna deny you that because you don't need it um listen i'm not into the uh, listen i'm not legal fish i'm medical fish i don't know how that goes um i ain't never had to take no nigga for no damn child support i don't know how that goes um i listen I feel like this. If it's old to her, she needs to have it. It don't matter the fact that Riley is now 18. She old enough to get that tired ass nose job that make her look worse than Latoya Jackson and Michael Jackson put together. May he rest in peace. Um, that don't matter. If it's old to her, he's responsible for paying it. And you know what I'm saying? I was with Mike when he said at the end of the day, it could go to Riley. You could just set it up in the trust fund. I felt like that. that's that's the best thing to do. Go on ahead and just put it in the trust fund. Boom. That's settled. Um, but anything other than that, it is what it is. Um, Portia and Cynthia meeting up for dinner. Cynthia lets her know that Mike wants Dennis to come to the wedding. And Portia shares her feelings and how she basically doesn't want him to come. Listen, I saw it for Portia this episode. And y'all know I am not a fan of Portia. I Y'all know I am not a fan of Portia. But when it comes to this episode and when it comes to Kenya's uh, evil Knievel scheming, scamming, uh, petty, messy, childish insane in the membrane simple minded peon simpleton at the light <clears throat> anyway um i was here for portia portia was like listen everything that 
went on between he and I. It always turned into an argument. It got volatile. I got a daughter now. I ain't got time for no more fuck shit. I ain't got time for no more fuck niggas. So I'm going on ahead. I let him go. I'm not there with him like that. He could be a father. I ain't got no issue with that. But as far as me and him goes, I don't want him in my space. So I appreciate you for having this conversation with me. And yeah, it's a no for me, dog. I don't want him there. And I felt like I got ranked because you knew me before you knew him. He knows y'all because of me. So at the end of the day, I don't give a damn how Mike feels. I felt like it was real kind of catty of Mike to try to make to to basically put Portia in a predicament to make it feel as though she doesn't have a choice in anything. And while I understand this show wedding, I just feel like if you're friends with the both of them, it's only right to sit them both down, not just Portia. Sit them shit. Maybe Dennis don't want to be around Portia. Like you don't know. Like I I, I, I was here for Portia in that moment. And we just going to move on. Um, ain't no need to belabor the time. Um, hold on. Uh, so, yeah. I was here for the conversation. And I was here for Portia keeping it real and saying, listen, I appreciate this. But let him know. Nah, I don't. For right now, it's a no for me, dog. Moving on. Uh, Cynthia talking to Noelle, um, Noelle coming home to help, but then she got to leave in two weeks because y'all know she an Instagram model. Um, you know, she an Instagram thought, she an Instagram whore, and all she does is just take pictures all day and get paid for it. Um, that's such a tiresome job that you just have to be home for. But I mean, I guess so, because she also does her little makeup tutorials on YouTube. And from one YouTuber to another, I totally get and understand the hustle. Um, I'm not reading Noelle just a little bit, but I actually like Noelle. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. She get it from her mama. Um, and she's getting her drive and her hustle from her too. So go on ahead, Noelle. I ain't mad at you. Mama, I got to get off of here so I can pose right. So I can afford this apartment. Yeah. Go on ahead and let her work for the first time in her life and make her pay for her own damn pop that sent. You'll thank me later. So Candies and the ladies go help out for the food drive. Kenya, you like, look, right, because I don't want nobody to keep getting this misconstrued because I took up for Kenya last year. I took up for Kenya last year because right is right or wrong is wrong and I knew won't nobody gonna have her back. At the end of the day, I don't like Kenya and I don't dislike Kenya. I'm indifferent to Kenya. Kenya gives me so much of Candace Dillard, especially in this episode, that if Portia either A, read her for filth, or B, laid paws on her, I just would have turned and looked the other way and I wouldn't have had nothing to do about it and had the police came to my house. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Yeah, I was there, but won't nobody fight and did nobody get into it. Like, because she just, like... And then, like, the whole, th like, Portia wasn't talking to you. Portia was talking to Candy, who's another friend of Cynthia's, and was letting her know about the conversation. Wasn't you the one who blurted out, let's talk and more work? And so why is you trying to give your unsolicited advice that nobody asked you for, Kenya? You and Portia are not friends. Why the fuck does Portia want to hear your advice for? Why are you even trying to give advice? Like, I, she... <sighs> Like, Portia made you look completely horrible in this situation because whereas anybody else just would have cussed you the fuck out, she just paid you dust. I mean, well, you know, she kind of went there, but she kind of didn't. She held back from it. She let you know how she felt, and that was just the end of it. But if I was Portia, I wouldn't have said shit to your ass, period, because nobody was talking to you. Um, moving on, before I really go in and laugh. Uh, um... Marlo giving out her donation in front of everybody, girl. That's so Marlo. Like, <laughs> MasterCard, if you really want to make yourself interesting, girl, go on ahead and just admit that you's a madam and you's a booster. Um, and you know you be getting your Rashida Ali on pet peddling these shoe dazzle businesses or whatever the case may be, and giving people empty boxes with rocks in it or something like. I, I don't know. Like I just felt like Marlo was in a whole bunch of shady shit. And if she would just go on ahead and say what it is, she'll be a lot more interesting. Like what you got going on here, Marlo? You're a one trick pony. Girl, a bitch don't give a fuck about how much you pay for this shit. 
Everybody else paid five, so everybody's assuming that you paid five. I'm more to show you got five to give. I, I mean, I didn't understand the reason if for you just having to let the table know that you gave five thousand dollars that it won't fifty. I, girl, <laughs> unless it's true what uh, King is saying. Um, I don't know. Some tell me that Marlo Puss is made of clay like mine, which means it ain't hitting no much. Moving on. Um, ooh, that was supposed to be a read for her, but I kind of read myself. Well, girl, not really, because I know I got the goodness, so I ain't even worried about that. Moving on. Um, Kenya Call and Drew one of Cynthia Strays. Like, that's what I mean. Poking the bear, poking the bear, poking the bear, poking the bear, poking the bear. And then the minute that somebody calls you out on it, then you want the backpedal and the coochie pop in the handstand or try to make it seem as if it was a joke or it was a this or it was a that. Like, I'm just still confused as to why Kenya don't see it for, for Drew. Because I don't know. Everybody says that it's jealousy because Drew is a real actress and everybody only knows Kenya for being Miss Bozak. I don't know. But, um... <sighs> Anyway, because I'm not going to promote no violence. Um, <laughs> Kenya wants to take the ladies away on a girl's trip to South Carolina. So I guess that's where this whole stripper thing happened. I thought that they said that it happened at Cynthia's bachelorette party. But maybe they just decided to have that at the end. I mean, I, girl, I don't know. Moving on. Um, Cynthia and Noel go over to see Mama Barbara and Mal. Um... Y'all know Noelle was in the car taking all kinds of selfies and yeah, yeah, whatever. And then they got their girl Mel fat ass ate all the food, all the cornbread, all the pig feet. Um, Lord, girl. So then Cynthia decides to go on ahead and tell her mama that she was thinking about extending the invitation to her dad for her wedding. And listen, y'all, look, Cynthia, look, your mama is real cute. But your mama really rubbed me the wrong way. Like, And I hate when parents do that. She pushed off all of her feelings to me. She pushed off all of her feelings on to Cynthia and then felt the way because Cynthia just did not see it the way that she did. And I hate when parents do that. Listen, whatever he did to you, he did to you. You understand me? I feel like at this point, Cynthia is overgrown. She rusty down to this point. I think she's at a point now where she's accepted it. She's forgiven him. Maybe now they're having a relationship, so she wants him there. I just don't know how I feel you being a woman of your age and your years and you're trying to stop that. Like, And the fact that you still hold the norm to that, it says a lot about you. Look I, look, I did not accept this kind of behavior from Mama Braxton, and I'm not going to accept it just because it's um, Cynthia Bailey's mama. I'm not going to do with it. Mammy, get the fuck over it. Get over it. And, and Noelle... I, I appreciate you, and I, I hear where you're coming from. At the end of the day, at the total end of the day, girl, stay out of grown folk business. You just there for more support, okay? I mean, I'm glad that you gave your invite, and you may be a little bit grown, but you will never be as grown as these women, and you ain't been through what they've been through for you to be sitting there thinking that your word is law. Um, and that's the way I look at it. Y'all can get mad with me in the comments and I'm more to show you will. It is what it is. Don't at me in anything. Leave your funky ass comment. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, don't ask me about it. Um, y'all, that's all I got. I ain't got no more to give you. Tonight's episode, it, it was, it, it was, it was a D plus. <laughs> it was a D plus. Okay. That's a high D, low C. I give it about that. We going to see what the rest of this season going to give. Um, about tomorrow morning's live. Um, it's still a little bit up in the air yet because of scheduling. I really don't know, but you will have a definite, you will have a definite answer tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Um, you will know, just keep looking out on my YouTube channel for, um, the page, you know, to come up or whatever. Make sure y'all set your reminders. I will definitely put it on Instagram as well as Twitter. So y'all will know ahead of time. Y'all will know an hour ahead of time. Um, it may be a little bit delayed, um, I just don't know. It's up in the air. Y'all will see tomorrow when I find out. Um, and we can argue about all this. Shout out to El Teddy. We can argue about this all tomorrow morning if y'all want to. Um, and also, don't forget tomorrow night about the live. 
um, Scotty's panel on Scotty by Nature TV YouTube channel. I believe it's still going to be at 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock Central Time. So definitely make sure y'all there for the panel. We're going to talk about this and we're going to gag about growing up hip hop, um, uh, Atlanta and every damn thing else that's going on in the world that y'all want to talk about. All right, girl, I'm gone. Bye. What you giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system. It's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe in the business.